Thank you, Mr. Khan, for doing this uh, interview with us. I want to first speak to you about the uh, Panama Papers. The son of uh, Pakistani Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif has defended his family's ownership of offshore companies, saying that the family has done nothing wrong, and that's uh, Hussein Sharif, who has said that, the, that all the businesses are legal. How do you respond to that? Well, firstly, you know, if there was nothing wrong, why not declare them? Why, as a Prime Minister of Pakistan, why should he not declare all his assets? I am a, 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 a le leader of the party that has got the second biggest vote bank. All my assets are declared. They are in my name. They are in Pakistan. Because if I am, if I am not uh, worried about corruption, if I, if, I haven't, if I made money legally and I want to pay my taxes, why should I hide my assets? So that's the number one issue. Why did they have to put, uh, put their assets in Panama? I want to speak to you a little bit about the Ahmadi community and the treatment that this community receives both in Pakistan and in this country. What would you want to say to them? Look, uh, any sort of uh, persecution is wrong. You cannot, uh, in Islam it is very clear, uh, the, the verse of the Quran is that you cannot force people into religion. So it's clear. You know, the, anyone who forces people to have any belief system is against the, against the Quran. And I also I believe that every, um, every human being, whatever their religion or their belief system, must be protected by law, must, their rights must be protected, they must be equal citizens. And uh, if that doesn't happen, it's very unfortunate because, uh, it's, as I said, it's against the teachings of our religion. Let's talk about the Indian Premier League. And I just wondered, uh, would you want to see Pakistani players playing in the league and what have you done to support this or push this so that Pakistani players can play in the league? No, I haven't been able to do anything about the, the fact that no Pakistani players play in the IPL because I haven't had time. But I do think that Pakistanis should participate, should be allowed to. I don't understand this, uh, this uh, boycott of any incident that happens, uh, any terrorism incident in India where Pakistanis are supposedly implicated. Why should the cricketers pay for it? Why should there be collective punishment? Why, unless the cricketers or anyone claims responsibility, why should they be punished? And in fact, if anything, uh, the more interaction, the less the tensions, the better it is for the subcontinent. So I'm not really, uh, it doesn't make any sense to me why this whole idea of Pakistan players not being allowed. Oh, India-Pakistan match is not taking place. Mr. Khan, will you ever become the Prime Minister of Pakistan? <laughs> well, I don't know uh, when it'll happen, if it'll happen. But I certainly think that the party which has struggled now for 20 years, my party and I have struggled for 20 years, I think right now it is, for the first time I feel that the party is ripe, ready. It's... Uh, it's ready to take on the responsibility because it's gone through a struggle which no other political party in Pakistan has gone through. Uh, and I think, uh, I, or I sense, the time is not far.